KSPW Weather with Chief Meteorologist Lee Sullivan. Good evening, everybody, and happy Friday. Getting ready to head into the weekend. Let's recap today. Nice, mild to warm temperatures up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. A mix of about 80 to uh, near 90, but not quite. 86 Boulder Creek. 74 in Santa Cruz, 68 Watsonville. We had that northwesterly wind scouring out the low clouds in the northern half of the bay, but it was pretty much all clouds from PG back to seaside of Monterey today with low 60s and even upper 50s in PG. Not a big spread there, 52 to 58, while it was 80 in Carmel Valley. So yeah, just take a little drive if you want to heat up or cool down. You want to see some sun. It's all there for you. You just got to get in the car. 66 in Salinas. In some cases, you could just get in the bike. 86 in uh, King City and uh, 90 south of there. Pinnacles, 103 today. Yeah, 103. So tomorrow will be easily that hot there and even hotter next week. 79 in San Jose, 88 Gilroy, 91 in Morgan Hill, and 84 in Hollister. So uh, for the most part, not too hot. Hillary and Irwin, two tropical storms. It's just so neat to see Mother Nature like this. We basically got a pair of twins here. Uh, they look almost identical, and they're just uh, continuing to track off slowly uh, to the uh, west-northwest. Not going to bother anybody. We've got some tropical swell that will come into Southern California and, of course, Baja over the coming days. There's also a south swell, uh, which is coming into those locations, so they got a lot of surf, but not much up here in Northern California. 98 in SAC today, 84 in Lake Tahoe, a beautiful day up in the Sierra, and then a string of triple digits, 105, 106, 108, Palm Springs, Fresno, Bakersfield, and over to the San Diego area, 77. So you got that nice play of temperatures there too in Southern California, comparing the coast to the inland areas. And as we say, no sea breeze for the Central Valley tonight, still Triple digits, 103 in Fresno, still 105 in Palm Springs and Vegas right now, with even 70s down in Southern California. Their water temperatures are a lot warmer than ours, so they don't cool off as quick. San Francisco, 64. You can see these little swirls here. We call them eddies in the marine layer. You can see them just kind of pinwheeling around as the uh, low clouds burned off today in Southern California, and they made way for some sunshine along the Big Sur coastline. And of course, the rest of the state was high and dry. So cool air is along the coast and hot air is inland. So again, it's these two competing forces and uh, we're a lot of our areas just sort of in between all of that. So we do a lot of 80s and 90s while the Central Valley does 100 plus and we do 60s and 70s at the coast. Here's the thing though, heat will start to build. It's going to uh, build slowly, mostly from Sunday into about next Wednesday. You'll notice this as it starts to bulge and work its way to the coast. There's sort of a question mark as to how hot the coast might get. It's not the time of year for offshore flow, so most likely we'll have a sea breeze, but we could possibly see some 80s at the beaches at some point next week. Microcast showing a light breeze overnight, and then it picks up. We have a nice little westerly breeze tomorrow afternoon at about 5 to 15, so that'll take your cool air into Moss Landing, Hollister, and here in Salinas. A little further away from the bay, you'll be fairly warm, but not too hot. Microcast showing low clouds, and there's going to be some fog with this. There has been the last few nights. Some of that could be a little bit thick and dense, and some, uh, some mist sprinkling out of the marine layer. We like to do that from now and again. The redwoods like that. Tomorrow afternoon, we back all of this off to about the ocean's edge. It'll be a tough call around the peninsula, probably coming and going at times. We'll call that partly cloudy in the afternoon. For tonight, 50 to 58. If you're near the coast, you should be pretty much well covered up with low clouds. The hills should stay fairly clear. The marine layer is shallow at about 1,000 feet, so probably not a lot of penetration up into the higher peaks, certainly. And at the bay, you'll have your fog and your mist. For tomorrow, a mix of 60s to middle 70s. Low clouds and fog burning off for sunshine lingering, though, on some of the beaches. And for the valleys and the hills, another beautiful afternoon. Middle 80s to middle 90s, so a little warm in a few spots, certainly. But it is expected to get hotter than that again Sunday into next Wednesday. 65 in San Francisco, 70s and 80s going in the south and east bay into the Santa Clara Valley. Middle 80s to middle 90s, Morgan Hill and Gilroy, your hot spots there. And an 88 in Hollister. The Salinas Valley, upper 60s here in Salinas. Upper 80s around Greenfield and Soledad, 90 in King City. And if you're heading down to places like Parkfield and Bradley, just figure on 100 plus. 64 in Seaside, 62 in Marina, about 85 in Carmel Valley and 84 in Big Sur. And then the north half of the bay, generally the warmest, and it will be tomorrow, about 75 in town in Santa Cruz, a little cooler along the beach, and 70 for Watsonville, but middle to upper 80s around Boulder Creek and Ben Lomond. Your KSPW 8-day forecast taking you all the way into next week. 
70s and maybe some low 80s around Santa Cruz next Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We'll see. Long range forecasting with the marine layer is very hard to do, so <laughs> I'm not putting any money on this, but it looks very warm. Certainly the hills and the valleys, 90 plus for about a week straight with the hot spots over 100. I know that we, we always have the marine layer at the coast yeah. during the summer, but July and August. But there has been many summers where it just doesn't seem to ever yeah, burn off. That's, that's not true. the case this summer. Nope, doing pretty good. In the morning, good. And it burns yeah. off, so you get a nice afternoon. And in September, well, oh, that's weather for the locals. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then it could get hot at the coast. Exactly. <laughs>